The Oculus Quest Gallery is a package that will allow the developer to create different experiences with the pictures inside your SD card that is inside the device of the Quest. The first scene will allow you to select different images from a tablet and display them into a board. You can use the arrows to navigate between different pictures and select them from the tablet. The tablet has also rigid body grabbing events which allow you to interact with it. The second scene allows the user to create a spherical gallery in which you can interact with the pictures that are displayed in the game. You can resize them by using your hands, making them bigger or smaller, and you can position them in space in order to create your personalized gallery. With this package, we want to give our users the freedom to create different galleries and export them into their projects. Welcome to this video tutorial in which we're going to explain how the Oculus Gallery for Quest works in your PC and in your device. First of all, whenever you download our package, you will see that you have two different scenes. One that is like this one, that is going to show a tablet or a mobile device in which the images will be loaded. And another one that is a futuristic scene that has uh, the beginning uh, just these elements, but it will generate a spherical uh, image, images, spherical images around the player. How do we make this package work whenever we download it? First of all, we need to import the Oculus integration package. To do so, you have to go to Asset Store and inside the Asset Store, you can uh, search for the Oculus integration and uh, whenever you, we write that, the package will pop up and we'll be able to download it. That is this one here, okay? The Oculus integration package. So, uh, importing this and hitting um, update and restore the editor, you will have this folder here with all the things that we need for the virtual reality development. Another thing you have to do is to go to build settings, change the, um, the platform to Android, and then inside the player settings you have to go to XR settings and select the um, virtual reality supported, as you can see here, and select the Oculus. If you have any problems doing that, maybe it's because you have also here a Vulkan graphics that you have to erase from the graphics API. Okay, so these are the first steps you have to follow in order to have everything prepared for your project. Now we can move ahead and explain a little bit more about the different scenes. Let's open the first one and hit play. You will see that the images will be loaded in the tablet using a coroutine. If this doesn't happen for you, please go to the gallery management and inside this variable here that says path PC, you have to select the path that you want to use during debugging. That is the process we are doing now using um, some scripts which allow us to uh, check the, um, how the package works on the PC. So uh, remember to change this path PC into your uh, local folder in which you want to display the images. In this case, it's inside pictures and quest and I have added like 10 pictures in order to test it. The next thing you can do is go ahead here in the search button and select for um, custom and you will see that we have the custom left and right hands. If you move this, you are moving 
uh, in the PC, the hands, uh, simulating the movement with your device. So for example, I'm going to move the hands next to the tablet in order to show you what happens if we press one of the images. And now I'm going to separate the two hands and I'm going to point down one of the hands into this image here. Okay, let's see. Now it happened. So whenever we click with our fingertip into an image, the image is going to appear on the board. At the same time, if the grab volume is inside an object, and if we hit R, we're able to pick up the object inside our hand. And the interaction is similar with the other hand. So uh, if we want to use now the right hand, we go to the custom right hand, and we move it into the position we want, in order to uh, interact with one of the images there. For example, this one here. Let's see if I can make it work. I think I'm a bit off. Okay, now. So, whenever we click here, an image will, will appear. This is all recorded in the device, uh, which is much easier to test. But if you don't want to start um, exporting the files all the time into your device and testing uh, it in the quest directly, you can debug using this process. So um, this is uh, the first scene. You will see also in the background the different paths for the pictures that you are loading. This is useful if you want to select one in particular, but it's what we are using in order to display the images in the board. And uh, Yes, we're going to move to the next uh, scene. The next scene is a bit different because whenever we hit play, as you can see here, the, um, the images will be generated in a spherical position. So, uh, if you want to see what happens with the hands whenever we want to grab a, um, an image, we can do the same thing we did before, moving the hands into the position of an image, pressing R and you can see that now the custom uh, left hand has picked up the image and you can move it around and rotate it etc. And if we use the right hand uh, in the border of the image and we press T, now you can see that we can resize the image in function of the distance between the two hands. So this is quite useful because we can interact with the with the pictures in many ways and resize them, move them and do whatever we want as uh, you can see in the video of the quest. But nevertheless this is not all regarding this tutorial because we're going also to explain a little bit about the prefabs and the scripts. So. Um, if we go to the first important prefab, that is the image tablet here, we can see that we have different scripts attached to it. I'm going to close them just to show exactly what we have there. We have the image prop, which is only a simple script in which we're going to save the path of the um, image location. Then we have the contact button, that is the script that allows us to interact with this, the image by clicking on it. And then we have the button uh, functions that will be triggered here. As you can see, we're calling the show image in board. That is the script that takes the image. Okay, I'm going to hit play in order to, sh um, to show it. Well, in the correct scene, better. So whenever we click on an image, one of these images here, as we did before, is going to call a function inside the board that is going to send one of the textures to this board here and is going to display it in a big, in a big uh, texture that is the size of the board. Okay, so that's it's um, 
the way that this proof out works. Then we have the image sphere, that is the other one, in the other scene, which has a different script, that is the object grabbing. So the object grabbing uses two different offsets that are used to position the relative, uh, or to position the game relatively to the hand. And at the same time, we have also a releasing speed factor, which will give some speed to the object when we throw it. We can also select if we want to release with gravity or if we want to manipulate it. So for example, uh, let's check what happens if we deselect or select these things here. Uh, let's load the correct scene, that is the futuristic scene, and then let's hit play. Okay, so for example, these objects here are are without release gravity and are manipulate, manipulable. So in fact, whenever we approach the hands to them, we'll see that we can pick them, pick these images, okay, I can pick them, and I can resize them. So that's what it means. But nevertheless, if I want them only to um, be picked, but without being manipulated, I can disable this, I script if you want, and then you will see that although I move my hand, is not going to change its size. And if I also add the gravity, uh, let me check the. Okay. Uh, I'm not clicking correctly on the on the object. Let's see if I can. Okay, like this. If now I select the select gravity and I press C, you will see that the gravity is applied to the object too. So this is more or less how these uh, prefabs work. And now the scripts. So the first scripts are uh, under the folder called grabbing, and these are the hand grabbing and the object grabbing. So the hand grabbing has to be attached to this grab bottom costume L that is from left and the other one is the one called grab volume costume R that is the one for, for the right hand. So those have the hand grabbing scripts and then if you want to create an object that is going to be grabbable you have to add the object grabbing to it. So for example if we go to the prefabs um, tablet it has the object grabbing because we want to interact with them with our hands. So those are the scripts relating to grabbing. In the tablet scene, we have the board and the tablet button. So those are just for interacting with the board and sending the image from the uh, tablet to the board. And then we have the gallery manager that will be the main script that is the one that we're going to talk about at, uh, now and it will be the last thing we talk about in this tutorial. The gallery management is a script that allows us to select first the type of display we want. So if we want the tablet, you will need a tablet parent here in order to display the images. If we want a sphere, that is not necessary because we're going to get all the information for the sphere positioning here in the button. And then uh, here it's more or less prepared for video, but video is not supported at the moment. But we select the image prefab we want to, the, to instantiate in the game. So for example, if we hit here, we have the image sphere that's going to be instantiated as you can see here inside the gallery and these are the images that are going to appear okay so this is all regarding this tutorial thanks very much for watching and i hope you consider downloading this package and supporting our work have a nice day